good. What are you eating, Emmeline? Can it be so papa? What are you eating? Mm -hmm. What's that? Papa. Oh no, we dropped it. Can you get it? Thank you. Are you eating chives? Do you want some more? You eat that one first. She just wants a new one. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a new one. <laughs> she might need help getting the long piece out of her mouth. <laughs> She's in molars, remember? She loves that, huh? Who's in your t-shirt, Emmeline? Huh? <sighs> dinosaur. He's a cool dinosaur with sunglasses. Oh Good day, everyone. Good day. It's beautiful out. It's beautiful. And it is Sunday, so happy Sunday. We went to the market this morning, and I know you think you guys are crazy. You're moving. You're going to the market. Well, we're going to the market because there's a couple things we really want to get here instead of getting them in Norway. So we did look at that, and we got this awesome scoot along toy for Emily. Hope you can see it. Um, it is rubber wheels and it goes all over the place and the people who had it they're like oh our kid two of our kids had it and it's still in perfect condition. So it's excellent. Really excited about it. Yeah. Oh the machine. Shoo, 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 doing laundry. And the little plastic one that we got for her temporarily we're gonna get rid of that and we got this one because that's the one we kind of wanted to have anyway. So the packing is underway. We also got a pillow for Emily's chair. <laughs> Look, a little pillow. And we, I mean, the house is kind of messy because things are being opened and closed and all over the place, but we are packing. Yes, we are. We're getting some fruit, some fruit for the bean. Do you want a, a plum? Uh -huh. Yeah. Is that your plum? Is it delicious? Papa? Papa's getting the boxes ready. Aren't you, Daddy? Mm -hmm. It's good that we bought packing tape. Well, the big one's ready, ready. It's in there. Oh, gosh, I didn't even see it. All right, so this box here, it's a large box. You don't want to put anything really heavy in the large boxes because then they're really, really heavy. So we're going to put the linens in the box. We do have some of the vacuum bags, but I don't want to bother with it right now. I, re I don't care. We have to pay anyway for the stuff, so. How's your plum? Very juicy and messy, I see. How's your plum? Baba? Your plum is good, huh? Plums. Mmm. <laughs> so when Emily was born, my mom sent us this gigantic card, and I'm gonna show it to you. It's huge. It's actually first of all, this is what it came in. Okay. Did you put that in the mail? Yeah, no. I don't think she mailed it. No, I don't think I she think mailed it. she put it. it in the box. Yeah, I think it was in the box she sent it. And this is the card. Look how big it is. It's as big as Emily and put it next to Emily. <laughs> Look at me. Look at this. It's yeah. almost as big as Emily. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for sending that, Mom. We loved it. Oh no, Emily, and that's really not good. Look. Oh no, oh no, Daddy, Mommy's gonna go get some soap. We have an emergency. We have plum yeah, on our already stained yeah, oh, rug, which we did right. not stain. Oh no, it's right. Oh no, it's right. I think we're done with plums today. That probably wasn't the best decision on my part to give her that plum. I'm not gonna lie. But, I don't know. The rug is already in really bad shape, and it was like that when we moved in, so. Which I did take pictures of. Yes, I did. I did, because we were going to be moving out. Um, and the landlord, he knows we're moving out. But um, I just, you know, like, I don't know. Like, the house was not in the best shape when we moved in. Uh, but we really liked the location, and we didn't want to look anymore. We didn't want to wait for something in this area, because we really liked it here. So we just took it. But, like, the rugs are just not good, and there's a lot that needs to be cosmetically fixed on the house. That's for sure. I'm going to clean this up. Are you having a sticker party? Yeah? Oh, you dropped one. Cute.
chili. Where are you going to stick them? Where are you going to stick it? Kind of hard to stick that one, isn't it? Should mommy help you? I don't really know what to say. I am so tired and it's just been the most insane day. I must look exhausted. I mean, I must look so, so exhausted. I probably, probably look exhausted every day. <laughs> I haven't worn, I mean, like, I don't even get ready anymore. I haven't put makeup on. I, have, I don't do my hair. I do nothing. I just tend to my baby and try and clean my house and get things organized because ever since we've got back, it's just been like, oh my God, we're moving, plan, quick, do this, do that, do this, do that. Oh my God, oh my God. And it is, it's, oh my God, it's like, it's, it's not even six. It's, it's 5.54. It's 54, and Emily was so tired. She was so tired that she wanted to go to bed early, so I brought her up at 5.15, and I thought, okay, we'll probably like sit and then read books for about an hour. And my plan now is, I don't want to feed her to sleep because it's not working for her anymore. She doesn't nurse to sleep anymore. So my plan is to give her some milk and then read a book and then let her drop off on her own. And even if I have to sit there for an hour while she slowly drops off on her own, I'm hoping that she'll eventually start to learn how to calm down a little bit easier. Because if I'm there with her, she doesn't cry, she just rolls around. <laughs> but anyway, I brought her upstairs to go to bed and she fell asleep in instantaneously. I mean, I, I did the bedtime routine and the bathroom went to the bedroom and she just, she nursed and just fell asleep, deep sleep, totally, totally out. The reason for that being is because yesterday she had no nap and last night she woke up at I don't know, was it 3.30 in the morning, wanting food. She was so hungry, she was starving. And we're, at first we didn't know what it was. We're like, why is she awake? What's going on? And then she kept going, food, food. You know, she wanted food. So we fed her in the middle of the night. Then she wouldn't go back to sleep. And Alvin had to leave the room and go sleep somewhere else. <laughs> I was stuck in the bed with her trying to get her to sleep for like, I don't know, an hour, two hours, I'm not sure. So she finally went to sleep. And then she woke up this morning at 7. Same routine, nothing changed. Didn't sleep in, no. Today again, no nap, so she's really, really tired. Hopefully she'll get a good night's sleep now. In my opinion, she needs to sleep, just just sleep through. She shouldn't be waking up tonight, in my opinion. She needs to go to bed, because she needs sleep. Welcome to toddler mom life, right? This is my first baby, this is my first toddler, and it's all, you learn as you go. You learn as you go, right? Right, everyone else? Anyone else? Kids out there? If you don't have kids out there, that's just how it is. You learn as you go. Find what works for you. Roll with it. <sighs> Look at my hair. I'm getting my hair cut Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've decided that I'm not going to rush to get my hair done. Um, I'm just going to let it... You know how I was, was going to do more blending of my, my balayage, which is what I needed to do. I'm going to skip it. And I'm just gonna do it in Norway. So what I what I think I'm gonna do now is just bear with this line, let my actual root grow out, you know, down to where I want it to be. Once that's there, then I'll I'll go back in and have them do. It's, they won't have to pull up my root at that point. They'll just have to blend in this line and give me a little bit more lights and you know, some paint, some balayage, and then I'll get a glaze done. And that's, that's what I'll do. But I do, I'm, I'm deciding I'm going to wait for them to pull, for my root to just pull itself down. Because I don't want to get the light so close to my line here. I don't want to do that. It's not the look that I want. And I don't want them to have to pull out my root again. Because you never know how the color is going to take to the sun. Versus how your normal hair takes to the sun. And you never know if the color is really dead on. When I got it done this past time, she was like... I don't know, the color, is, it might change in the sun, you might need to come get, you know, get it touched up, but it takes a couple times. If you want to get balayage hair, it usually takes a couple of sessions to really finally get the look that you want, and then once you get that look, you know, it's, it's easier for them to just give you a couple lights um, or glaze and that sort of thing. And I knew that, but I just didn't think I was moving. <laughs> so I have to do it in Oslo, and oh my gosh, Norway is so expensive. It's going to be like $300 to get my hair done, no doubt. Yeah. I'm going to work on my vlog, and Alvin's going to make some food. Alvin cut the grass finally today. Look, I'm going to show you. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, it looks so much nicer. 
The other thing I wanted to get, I know I said I was leaving, but I'm not because I just, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm really talking to my mom because mom, this is something I talk to you about and you're not online. <laughs> my mom loves uh, makeup and jewelry. So this is makeup talk. Mom, I'm going to invest in a couple bits of makeup. I don't wear that much makeup. I really don't. And because I'm always outside, I don't really, don't really need to, I don't really like to wear that much makeup. Some people may think I need to, you know, but that's their opinion. My opinion is <laughs> I don't really want to put it on and I like putting makeup on sometimes. That's why I don't want to wear it every day because then when I do put it on, it's like, oh, I feel different. You know, that's just me. But I'm going to invest in a couple more pieces. I want to get like, I want to get a new eyebrow powder and I want to get new mascara. I have this one mascara that I love and just... I want to get some kind of bronzer, like a nice bronzer or something, because I'm going to be in Norway. We're going to need that. All right, going now. I'm out. <laughs> oh, I wanted to say, I know I said I was just going, but I'm not. If anyone has any recommendations for a really good bronzer, let me know. I don't really know. I haven't used bronzer in so long, because I've lived in Thailand and Florida. I didn't need bronzer. At least I didn't think I needed bronzer, so I didn't use it, but now I'm going to move to Norway. So if anyone has any recommendations on that or any really nice eyebrow powder, I don't like eyebrow pencils. I don't prefer powder. Well, let me know. Also a nice blush. I'm looking for a really good blush too. Just a couple basic makeup things. I don't want to buy makeup in Norway. It's expensive. All right, I'm really going now. <laughs> I don't know if I already said goodnight. This has been a terrible vlogging day, hasn't it? So all we did was pack. I got crazy. But I want to say goodnight. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you guys had a really good day. It's like two and a half weeks until we're moving. I feel like one of those Hallmark movies now where they're all of a sudden like, I got the job, but we have to leave in a week. That's what I feel like. <laughs> That's exactly what I feel like. Anyway, um, have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.